What's up YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I'm here today with just a general reading. I have two piles. Pile one or pile two. I can guess I could grab some stones and we can go f off of those. The first one, how about this clear quartz stone? And pile two is the tiger's eye. I hope everyone's having a great Monday. Um, everyone's staying healthy and just doing really good. Uh, I had a really good day. I finished my project, but it's drying, so <clears throat> excuse me. I did take pictures of it. Uh, you could check out my um, Facebook page, which is, it's under a Sunny Bees Fun Creative Furniture and Decor. So if you want to check that out, it has the furniture that I do and you know, what I do for a living, pretty much. That's my main thing lately, that is. So if you want to check that out, that would be awesome. I'd really appreciate it. And I'm willing to send, like, in the mail, fix this. Um, anything besides, unless it's, like, really big and really heavy. But I, I'm willing to uh, pay the cost and send that. If you find something that you like, let me know, please. Um, well, let's get started. I have to make dinner here shortly, so... I'm going to turn you over here. I didn't move this chair out of the way, sorry. My little setup over here is just not that good. Okay, pile one, um, the clear quartz. You are up. The inner or the energy of your reading is going to be blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. And I have noticed this card has been coming out a lot lately, so this is a message that is very strong for someone. It is so easy to give away the power to transform your life. Currently, there have been people, people along your path who have shaped you into who you are today. But you are solely responsible for your own happiness. The ego can be a very fragile thing. And if it comes under fire... The first instinct is to blame an outside force. Victim consciousness weakens the connection that you have to your to your soul source. This mindset says I don't have the power inside myself to break free because someone else else's power is stronger. This is an illusion when you believe that someone else is responsible for your problems that belief is a problem. Personal responsibility can empower you to change your reality. Lasting transformation always begins on the inside and works its way out. There is a difference between a reason and an excuse. A reason is valid and unavoidable. An excuse is an attempt to shift the blame. Your next card is going to be the Magician. The Magician is a card of boundless, expansive energy, whereas many of the major arcanas deal with stillness or aspects of the mind. This card is all about action, action, action. It's time to see yourself as the wildcat. Embrace the speed, grace, and abilities. Don't be afraid to begin. You have the power of all four elements within your reach. Now is the time to use them. You have earth, water, um, air, earth, what is it? Air, earth, fire, water. You have all those elements in you. So use them all. Your next card is Panda. Enjoy the sanctuary of solitude to regain self-esteem and tranquility. This is another card that's been coming out a lot. So this is a strong message also. Self-contained and content in her banks of baboo, Tranquil Panda relaxes in her world of plenty and ease, dependent upon none. Sometimes we become too wrapped up in others, dependent upon their approval, and wither inside should they, should they withhold it. Wise Panda counsels that time spent in a peaceful, established, Sanctuary, retreating far away from your daily life, both physically and mentally, will help your spirit and allow 
your true self, not someone else's image of you to flourish. Your next card is moving on. You are about to embark on a much needed journey to leave the past behind. This card lets you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and it signifies that the time has arrived in which a difficult cycle in your life is coming to an end. In the traditional tarot, this card also implies traveling or going forward, involving crossing waters or even moving aboard. Calmer waters are ahead and with all the lessons you've learned, from the past experiences, you are approaching this period having grown, and you are so much stronger for it. The healing process is underway, and now you can set your goals, desires, and objectives to secure a more positive and successful future. Because your mind is more settled and less worried, sync sync I can't say that word, events will bring the right conditions and introduce people into your life for the highest good. Your next card is the Lady of the Lady of the Moon and Stars. Through the mysteries of the moon and the stars, we have always learned to appreciate the influence of the heavenly bodies on our lives. They have the power to enhance or perspective, <clears throat> excuse me, perceptions of the cosmos and our own place within it. They also possess the qualities we are most in need of in our own time. Timelessness, the endless of life itself. The lady of the moon and stars holds within her all of these qualities and bestows them where they are most appreciated and best used. You have the kettle. It's time to light a fire under the situation and get things bubbling. Think about what you want to accomplish, what you wish and hope for. Then, make a solid plan and action to take the first steps towards that desire. Your next card is Square Challenge. Uh, creates tension, sounds the alarm, motivates, pressure into, frustrates, demands, struggles, hurts, workout. Can you see it? You may feel trapped in a corner with seemingly unsolvable problems and constrictions popping up at every turn. Know that this is a test of your foundations and that anything that's being challenged wants to fortify itself for the future. Access the, the vehicle you have been traveling in where has comfort led you to. What's pressing on you to upgrade once again to remind you of your capabilities? Treat this card like an invitation to dance in a very small room. How can you work with the limiting walls of time and space and balance the tireless beat with a rhythm that works for you? Journal prompt, design a how-to cheat sheet for overcoming one of your most commonly experienced challenges. Your next card is going to be the Seven of Cups in Reverse. An illusion is shattered. A more re realistic outlook or game plan is gained. A wish is fulfilled but turns out to be unfulfilling an abandoned dream, striving to be less shallow, a resistance to fantasy or temptation, a bad business venture leads to a reduction of wealth. And then your outcome for this reading is the Eight of Cups. 
I'm sorry. No, it's not. I apologize. No, it's not. It's the fool. I apologize. Your outcome's the fool. The idea of spirit by self-awareness or the needs and demands of the flesh. The fool is truly the free spirit turning on a spiritual level. The fool may represent letting go of the ego, living for the moment, or a full, more spiritual life. The free spirit letting go of the ego, living in the moment, the bliss of ignorance, taking a risk, a need to watch where one is going, foolish behavior, addiction, or excessive intoxication is leading to trouble, mental or emotional disorder, playing the fool, genuine foolishness, and nativity, renouncing the material world in favor of more spiritual lifestyle. That's what I have for you, Pile One. I hope that it resonated. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Besides me stumbling on my words, I apologize. Um, otherwise, I hope that you have a great rest of your evening. I hope that your day tomorrow is great. And I just hope that you're all doing well. I'm sending much love, healing, positive vibes, and peace always. Okay, Pile Two, the tiger's eye. You're up. Let me move these. The energy of your reading is going to be indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Your soul is spirit manifest in the physical dimension. Even though you may feel limited by the constraints of your body, your connection to the infinite wisdom of the universe is always available to you in the form of intuition. You are never alone when you when making any decision. Spirit only wants the best for you, and by listening to your inner voice, you will always be guided to the proper outcome. All you have to do is ask. The expectation of others is only an illusion. You were not born to listen. To fear, you were taught to listen to it. Visualize any decision in your life as a fork in the road. How do how does your body react when you imagine your travels down each path? At first glance, one may look easier than the other. When you silence your mind, <clears throat> excuse me. When you silence your mind and listen to your intuition. The signposts will always be obvious. Your next card is Mother of Cups. The Mother of Cups reveals the High Priestess with her natural psychic abilities. She's a gentle, tranquil woman whose insights bring healing to those around her. She thrives when she's around her family the arts and music or beauty of any kind, like a true swan. When the Mother of Cups is pushed, she can become aggressive and defensive. She'll commonly see herself as the victim when distressed in a situation. You have the lion. Banish loneliness by reaching out to special friends. Tani. Of the savannah, Lion does not waste her days in needless physical exertion, but conser conserves energy by sleeping, resting, and lounging, working long, exhausting hours for the money to purchase goods, leaves little time for the pleasure of friendship. Loneliness is spirit diminishing desire Oh, excuse me, designer clothes make poor companions. Lion has padded into your cards to remind you how vital friends and neighbors really are. Reach out to those around you and be open to others. Emotional loss. The number five emotional card comes forth at the t a time 
when you may be experiencing or grieving a loss of someone or something you were emotionally attached to. Honor your feelings. Only by healing and loving yourself, by letting go of the past, can you continue on your journey. The suffering associated with the loss delivers profound wisdom and knowledge for your soul, your unique gifts, talents, and abilities, as well as your joy and sorrow will not only make up who you really are, but better yet, who you will become. The painful experience of life are equally as valuable as the joyous ones. Focus all your positive energy on the good in, the li in your life and what you are grateful for. Use the healing energy in this way and try not to focus on what you've lost for new beginnings and happiness are just around the corner. The Well of Sigas. The primary source of wisdom and the knowledge of the ancestors comes through the waterways of the land that break forth from the inner realms and bring knowledge into the lands of the humankind. This is a vital card which offers direct passage into the underworld. Pool of Moonlight. This is not the time for action, but rather for completion. Stop and think things through. Solitude is important now. Tuning out the influences of others so you can search your own soul. Uranus, um, revolution, breakthroughs, brainstorming, insight, awakening, technology, reform, surprise, freedom, the unexpected, rapture, Edge, diversity, lightning. How can you harness the power of group consciousness by joining up and participating in something much lar larger than you yourself? Uranus rules brainstorms and blue skies thinking. Who can you call on to mastermind your situation and help you come up with an as yet unimaginable solution to your current situation. There is an opportunity now to break on through the boundaries of self-imposed limitations and build something brand new from the ground up. Embrace the sensation of throwing caution to the wind of change and crafting a vision that embodies your highest ideas. Journal prompt, invite an app, oh, excuse me, invent an app that would solve all of your current problems. Can you let her out, please, Jazz? Your card, your next card is the Eight of Cups. I was trying to give that to pile one. Walking away from a romantic interest or a relationship that is no longer fulfilling. Choosing to let love pass one by. Declining an offer, moving on after emotional drudgery, Logic takes over emotion, a desire of solitude, distancing the self from an emotional matter, putting a matter behind, embarking on new adventure, leaving the past behind, and moving on, contemplating whether to stay or go. And then your final card and your outcome card is the Queen of Wands. An individual who is kind and calm, somewhat reserved yet sociable. A person who has a deep love for animals and a genuine appreciation for the natural world. Compassion, friendliness, one who is at peace, a situation involving an animal, objective, objectively being able to let go of things that no longer serve you, releasing attachments, an individual who has built success on their own accord, leadership, confidence, capability, independence, being sure of oneself, feeling comfortable in one's own skin, being self-assured and self-aware. Okay, that's what I have for today. I hope that it resonated, you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day. I'm sending much love, healing, positive vibes, 
and peace like always. Take care.